It all happened two days ago. I was home, having a midnight snack, when I kept listening to noises coming from upstairs. I live in an old house, so it's usual to listen to random sounds. I didn't pay too much attention to it and went upstairs after my snack. Despite that, I still felt a little nervous because the sounds were directly above my room. It sounded like scratching. I was getting more and more nervous, but I was too afraid to go up there and check it. What if someone was there? I didn't want to face whoever or whatever was there. I just kept telling myself it was a rat or something like that. One hour passed and the noise was still there. The exact same sound. I was getting desperate in bed, turning to all sides without getting any sleep. How could I sleep? I kept imagining that the sound was being made by someone waiting for me to fall asleep just to cut my throat. I had to do something about this. I gained some courage finally and went to the hallway right below the attic entrance. I pulled the rope and the stairs slowly came down. Now, at this moment, something else happened that scared the living thing out of me. The scratching sounds I was listening to before had suddenly stopped right at the same time I lowered the ladder. That was terrifying to me because whatever was up there was now aware I was here and going upstairs. All kinds of thoughts were crossing my mind, dark thoughts. I stood there at the end of the stairs looking up at the attic entrance. My legs were shaking. Never in my life have I ever been this afraid, but I had to go there now. I had a small flashlight with me and started climbing the stairs slowly. This must have been one of the hardest moments of my life, going into the unknown without knowing what was going to happen. I reached the top and put my head inside. With my flashlight, I started looking for whatever was making these noises. Everything looked clear until something jumped from behind some boxes. I fell backwards towards the ground and was now facing the entrance. In pain and terrified, I stayed there looking up. Slowly, I started seeing it. I called it because I don't know if that thing was human, but I swear I saw it. I will describe it the best I can. I did have time to see it because I was frozen in the ground. Never in my life have I felt this afraid. The thing was of light skin, full of bruises. It had no hair and it had big eyes and a mouth, but the nose was small. It looked like something that came from a nightmare. All of a sudden, it disappeared into the attic again, but this time it left the house because I could hear it running on the roof and jumping onto the ground. After that, it ran to the forest. I closed myself in my bedroom and couldn't sleep all night. I just tried to make it to the next day. I didn't call the police because I'm not sure what to tell them. No one will believe me and this was the only way of sharing the story. If someone knows what this thing is, help me find out what to do.